so I'm at the JC Ralston Arboretum and I'm gonna meet up with my dear friend Tim Alderton who is a curator here and my awesome assistant Flora and we are gonna take you through the Arboretum on a cuttings adventure so stay tuned I'm so excited to have finally arrived at the JC Ralston today and I'm here with my dear friend Tim Alderton who is going to give us some details on the Arboretum. Uh, I'm Tim Alderton. I've been here again for 13 and a half years. Uh, the JC Ralston Arboretum was started in 1976 by JC Ralston to expand the palette of plants in the southeast United States. We've worked with the industry uh, to get plants out and that's what we try to do today and I think Bree's going to do a little bit of that today. And that's why we're here. We're here with permission to take some cuttings so we can take them home and get them propagated. So stay tuned. I want to give you a sneak peek as to what I have in my cooler. So this is all the stuff you really need to be able to successfully gather cuttings. I have water so that I can wet the paper towels and actually wrap the cuttings in this before I stash them into a plastic bag. Also really important that you have labels that you can write on using the handy garden marker. This marker is the only one that does not fade in the sun or wash away from rainwater. Now you want to make sure you label your cuttings so you keep everything straight. Finally, I have my really sharp Akatsune pruners. And because when you're at a public garden especially, it's important to keep all your equipment clean, I have rubbing alcohol that I will use in between each bush that I go to prune from. It is Stachyurus carolina parakeet. It was a mutation that I found along with uh, my assistant on a, uh, from a cultivar called magpie, which was white and green. This has a uh, chartreuse and green leaf with a red um, line down the center on the, the young growth. Uh, in the spring, it's most apparent. At this time of the year, it's only visible in the uh, really active growth. So when you're looking to take cuttings off of a tree, what you really want to focus on is fresh, more tender growth, um, especially for midsummer cuttings going into a mist house. So this is really an ideal piece. I'm going to cut it longer than I need because once I get it home into my greenhouse, I'm going to make fresh cuts and um, I, I don't want to start with too small of a piece. So what I'm looking for as I scan the shrub is just areas where new growth is being initiated. And this is a great example here where you've got two new flushes coming on the side of this woodier stem. So I'm gonna take this stem back and then I'll be able to stick both of those pieces once we get to the mist house. There's a gold tone to it, it's real warm looking. And that's what variegation means? No. Uh, Variation means not all green. Yeah, it could be white and green, it could be pink and green, it could be um, there are various shades. You can see it on this leaf here. Wow, I need sunglasses. We'll take that. That's like the sweet spot. I know. That that's, right there. It that's doesn't the have magic. Flower buds on it. That's doesn't have any flowers. It has a good like I can get a heel mm -hmm. from that nice woody stalk. Yeah, that's the magic piece. Edgeworthia is one of my all-time favorite plants. I love it for its summer show. It has this amazing rounded habit. Um, in the winter, it's covered in fragrant yellow flowers. It's truly the most magnificent plant that you can have for winter interest in the Southeast. So I, this is a variety I don't have currently. I'm very excited about getting it. Now you can propagate from these tips, but I don't want to mess up the shape of this plant. So I'm gonna actually do a deep dive into the center of the plant and get some basil cuttings. This way no one will ever know that I was here with my pruners. We're at the Ralston Arboretum in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is their world-class perennial border. And today I'm going to take a few cuttings of some of the featured plants so that I can get them propagated and grow them at home. Uh, this is Gallardia estivalis winkleri grape sensation. Uh, it's a group of daisies that are typically more like this with 
yellows and orange tones, not purple to actually white uh, flower forms of this species. It's an endemic to a small area in Texas and it's federally endangered. No one sells it as a result, but it's a wonderful plant. Flowers the entire summer. Okay. That is really nice flushes down there. Because it, it just flowers its head off. It doesn't, it's hard to propagate. We're taking tender, fresh shoots, and we're gonna get these in paper towel and in a bag right away so they don't start to wilt on me. But this is a great native plant, and I'm so excited to have it included in my home garden soon. This is Manetia cordifolia. It's a great vine. Uh, it dies to the ground each winter, but it sprouts up and covers whatever's near it through the summer months. And from July till frost, it's covered in these spectacular red blossoms that hummingbirds adore. And I'm just taking these in mass. And when we get home, we're gonna dissect them down into individual pieces and get them propagated. Eucomas are really interesting because you can actually propagate these from leaf cuttings. So we're gonna take a couple of leaves and I'm gonna show you exactly how once we get back to my home greenhouse. This is like 50 plants. Yeah, that's easy. It, it takes Four a few leaves. years. It takes a few years, but they, they grow. They are very capable. And do you put air, do you cut yours with arrows? That's how I cut yeah. mine. Yeah. So that's how I tell people to do it in the propagation workshop. So they know which end's down. Exactly. All right, we've gathered all of our cuttings. Thanks to Tim for all of the guidance. We're gonna run home and get all of these propagated in the greenhouse. Come back anytime, Bree. Um, I'm always glad to have you here. But everybody else, stop by the Arboretum. We're open eight to eight in the summer and five to eight through the winter uh, almost every day there's just a couple of days check our calendar but pretty much and no free. charge and no charge this is an amazing resource from nc state and it's incredible how many local people in raleigh have never been here so come and visit